have more space and then add another mod. So I, I honestly can't wait for this. It's gonna be very cool. One of the mods that I'm gonna get, which I definitely like, pretty much must have, is the uh, the cheat menu, which gives you limited caps, resources, ammo, health, it, pretty much everything. And uh, I'm definitely gonna get some weapons mods, which is gonna be cool. I'm gonna start making reviews. It's gonna be gonna be great. But uh, as you see, gameplay of Vault 111B, which is another mod, which is another Vault. 111, <laughs> but just kind of like another version, and the missile minigun, of course, or miss, missile, uh, yeah, missile minigun, it's a minigun that shoots missiles crazy, but if you guys can't wait, make sure to comment down below and tell me what mods that you want me to review, definitely the, uh, the Pipper one, I'll, I'll look into that one, I can't wait. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, uh, I'll put the Bethesda.net as long as, as long as my Twitch channel down below in the description, I'm going to be live streaming tonight, it's going to be awesome, so if you guys want to join, please feel free, it'll be amazing, and uh, see you guys in the next video. I'm not logging to Bethesda.net servers, but this is what I was talking about in my last video, the little, uh, when you log in, it's going to be like this, go to mods, and then after this loads, it's going to say Bethesda.net, and you want to sign in the account you made on the Bethesda.net page. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll make an update video when you can uh, actually download mods. I did a download. What's up, guys? It is Brad, or Demon Asylum here. I'm bringing. Which I'll show you, actually. You all a new Fallout 4 video. Going to be giving you all a couple pieces of information here regarding Xbox One mods that a lot of you guys have been asking me about in the comment section and that I've been seeing across social media a lot of people wondering about and asking about. So I wanted to cover them in a video here at least a day or two before the mods actually release so that there wouldn't be anybody confused or worrying over certain things that they didn't actually have to worry about or do. So the first thing here is that a lot of people have been wondering basically what the time frame of the day on Tuesday, May 31st, of course, we found out previously that is when mods are coming. Xbox One publicly for everybody. A lot of people were wondering, okay, now that we know the date, what basically is going to be the time frame for the mods releasing? So Bethesda replied to somebody on Twitter who basically asked that question, and they said, timing has not been set for Xbox mods going live. It will be during the day on May 31st. Stay tuned for updates. So uh, they basically let us know in that tweet, pretty straightforward, that the mods don't have a set time yet to be released on Tuesday, May 31st. However, they are going to be released during the day. So this does answer our question of of if the mods are going to be released right at the crack of midnight uh, so for any of you guys who maybe were going to stay up until midnight or who were going to go to sleep early to then get up earlier than you normally do to play these mods right away that is something that you guys do not want to bother doing because again they tweeted out saying that the mods don't have a set time yet however they are going to be coming out during the day so if you ask me it's probably going to be a late morning or early afternoon release that's normally how it goes with updates and such like this and how they've been in the past so do not bother staying up until midnight. Do not bother going to sleep super early to get up a lot earlier than you normally do to get a chance to play the mods sooner because they are not going to be out yet. So the second thing I want to go over here is something that a lot of you guys have been asking me about in the comment section of my last couple of videos talking about mods and updates and stuff like that. And that is basically if the mods update is going to be something that you manually download from the store like a DLC. And if it is, are you going to be able to change your time zone to New Zealand?